Rich, we've been going back and forth all morning about how serious this offer is. He's made an all-cash offer. It's non-binding, and it doesn't look like he has the financing lined up yet because it does say in it that this is contingent on him getting his, uh, his uh, uh, completion of anticipated financing in part of this. It also says he can walk away at any point or change the terms of the deal at any point, too. The stock's up, but 7% um, now versus the 12% or so it was uh, immediately upon the release of this filing. I mean, look, he also talked about buying or you know, taking Tesla private at 420 and he you know, right. conveniently used, you know, 5420 um, a week before 420. I mean, there's definitely, you know, it, it, there's definitely some interesting aspects to this. I think the, the, the core problem is we still don't actually know what does Elon Musk want Twitter to do. I don't think anyone would disagree that Twitter could be better managed. I think, you know, there's been, you know, lots of investors frustrated with, you know, part-time CEO and Jack Dorsey beforehand. I think we don't really know Parag well enough yet as CEO, but clearly investors have wanted Twitter to move faster, um, iterate faster, drive revenue faster. There's no doubt that, you know, investors want that. On the flip side, Elon's talking about removing advertising and, you know, making it anything goes from a free speech standpoint. And, you know, Becky, we all know you can't yell fire in a crowded movie theater. Like there's reasons for some basic rules. And, you know, you've certainly seen the challenges in the way Facebook's been attacked for things like January 6th. And you need some set of rules. And so the idea of just sort of creating chaos on Twitter and removing its revenue stream, that all seems very much at odds with what you, Andrew, um, and Joe were talking about in terms of financing. Like, Who's going to finance Twitter if all the revenue is going to disappear? Uh, you know, there's just parts of this that just don't make sense. And again, if he was really serious, why is this best and final as his first offer? OK, if, if that's the case, what do you think about where the stock is right now? If, if, if you don't think that this is a serious <laughs> offer, if you think it could get pulled next week, uh, what would you value the shares at right now? Because they're up well, significantly over the last week and a half since his stake was first revealed. I mean, they're still down pretty dramatically as tech has pulled back. So, I mean, I think Twitter peaked in, I think in the, you know, if you look at, you know, early 2021, these, the stock was at, you know, over 70. It was at this level, you know, not that long ago. I mean, so I don't think this is a terrible place for Twitter. I think what the interesting aspect that all of this has done, not just today, Becky, but going back to when they first sort of purchased it reminds shareholders that unlike most of the companies in tech, heck, most of the companies in media land, there's no control shareholder. You can buy Twitter. Twitter is a company that can be taken over. And there's you can't say that. I mean, with you think about Mark Zuckerberg, you think about um, Snapchat. I mean, this is not possible. Google, I mean, there are not possible to sort of take over companies the way you can take over Twitter. And so I think the interesting thing now is, are we going to see anyone else come out of the woodwork? Are there other people that are going to look at what Elon is talking about and sort of the opportunity to improve Twitter, to accelerate growth, accelerate revenues? Would anyone else come out of the woodwork? And that's what's going to be interesting if Elon really isn't serious about moving forward and, and actually explaining um, what he would do and whether he would go higher, let alone whether he even has the financing in place this time. So you, you think this puts the company in play no matter what? I mean, it certainly raises that profile. I mean, if you think about the last time Twitter was sort of in play, remember when Disney was bidding against Salesforce and Google and everyone was sort of looking at the company, nothing actually ended up materializing and Twitter actually doubled down and it actually led to tremendous improvements in Twitter products. So I think the, the other side of this is nothing may happen, but it certainly has been a, a very loud wake up call to management. And I think it's gonna push the board to be very aggressive in how fast they move and how fast they push management to drive growth and results. So, so I think this could end up being a very good thing for Twitter stock.